In this video, I will show you two different ways to spot the best growth stocks with our Chartmall Stock Screener. But what exactly are growth stocks? Growth stocks are shares that are highly valued. Revenue, profits and cash flow are rising strongly and investors are very optimistic about the company's future. Investors in growth stocks expect management to achieve above average growth over many years. So how do we find the best growth stocks with Chartmill? The first way to obtain a selection of growth stocks is by setting up our own filters in Chartmill. As you can see on the homepage, there are more than 23,000 shares available in the screener. This is because Chartmill follows the American, Canadian, London and European markets. We start by selecting only the US stock markets. On the home page, we choose the menu Stock Screener and then we choose the tab General. Under the tab Exchange, we choose US only. At the bottom of the screen, you can see immediately that only by using this filter, the number of shares decreases to about 8400. A number of other important basic filters that we also set up on this screen are The minimum price This is quite personal, but for myself I only choose shares that have a minimum price of $10 or more. And minimum volume For me this is one of the most important basic filters. I only want to select shares that have a minimum daily volume of 300,000 pieces, because I want to be absolutely sure that there is sufficient liquidity and shares can be bought and sold very easily. With these two additional filters, we have about 2,175 shares left. Now we are going to set up a number of basic filters that are necessary to identify those typical characteristics of growth stocks. To do so, we select the tab Fundamentals. This screen may seem rather overwhelming, due to the number of filters available, but we will only use those needed to find growth stocks. We have opted for two filters, namely EPS growth and revenue growth. As an example, we set a basic value of 20% for all these parameters. Of course, these settings are very basic and other additional filters could also be added. But by using only these two filters, we are focusing specifically on growth and not, for example, on profitability or valuation. The second way is a bit faster, simpler and less restrictive. We leave the specific fundamental selection to chart mill. We only repeat the basic parameters such as exchange, minimum price and minimum volume. We then choose the fundamental tab again, but instead of setting all filters ourselves, we choose the option Chartmill Growth Rating with a minimum rating of 9. By selecting this choice, Chartmill knows that we are interested in stocks with a strong growth story. And as you can see, we now have more candidates. You can then apply individual filters to further refine the selection. The nice thing is that you can also apply this to the other fundamental characteristics such as profitability, valuation or even the degree to which a company is financially healthy. And you can also combine them and look for growth stocks for co from companies that are also financially healthy. You can set the filters manually, but it is much easier to first use the Chartmill fundamental presets and fine-tune if necessary.